A very important patch recently came to Halo Reach Fly 3 on PC, hopefully fixing the input delay when it comes to the mouse and keyboard options, as well as some new content actually being added in now with the flight with it also being extended. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. <music> How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you another news update when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the video as well as I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, we'll stay updated with anything going on in the Halo community. Make sure you tap subscribe, keep you guys updated with everything going on. So let's get right into the content here. But as we know, through our playing Halo Reach on PC, that there's been some some issues going on with the game. A little bit of stability issues, some UI changes need to be fixed right there. But the biggest one I've heard from most people when it comes to their issues with the game is the mouse inputs. And hopefully with this fix right here, 343 you actually got a chance to go in and maybe fix the issue that might have been causing this problem to begin with. So over on the Halo support page where they go in and talk about these kind of updates when it comes to these flights and stuff like that, they actually go into all the details of everything that went into this patch. I'm going to give you guys all the details that you need to know when before jumping into playing Flight 3 on PC. Now the top of this list they put in mouse and keyboard input and control changes as they mentioned that the variable frame rate is an option that has been actually removed in this current build uh, just because they've noticed that with the higher frame rates it causes more input delay and it just doesn't really work out too well obviously when you're trying to play a shooter such as Halo. Uh, they said for the best experience turn off vsync and play in full screen mode not borderless full screen like actual full full screen mode they played the most optimized version as uh, says it hopefully fixed the uh, issue with the thread op prioritization that was causing the input delay as they're saying that the uh, hardware for your mouse and keyboard were actually put as a lower priority in the uh, system so obviously it puts a lot of other pro systems ahead of that which obviously processes those first making your mouse and keyboard feel a little bit delayed so hopefully this kind of relieved that i'll give you my opinions as i got into play a little bit tonight as well so i'll save my opinions towards the end of this video so you guys can know if it actually fixed anything also a lot of people have been complaining about the chat filter in the game saying that's a rated m game why can't we just play it and say whatever we want Personally, I wasn't really look, really looking forward to seeing this be removed, but that's actually what happened, is that the uh, app filter has been removed from uh, the game. And so I got a chance to play tonight, and the, within the t first two games, I heard people just being super toxic, yelling at each other, saying, go back to casual, you know, you're bad, you guys get dunked on, stuff like that. And so it's back to being uh, just good old toxic Halo. Now I will mention that certainly the filter was a little bit too strict as I think, do you remember I was like typing and saying like, oh, I have an issues with my FPS in the game and it blocked that out because I abbreviated FPS. So there were some things I do believe were a little too strict, uh, but I do kind of wish to saw that filter on there just because there's a reason why I pretty much mute everybody. I go into a lobby and that's the reason why. Now if there's a re way I can actually just turn off the text box as a whole then i'd be okay with that i just don't want to see that toxicity in my game it's annoying and it just doesn't really help out anybody some stability fixes some controller uh, sensitivity fixes as well some resolution changes and some art and ui fixes as well to kind of help clear up things a little bit better there so if you guys want to get into all the nitty-gritty details knowing everything you can check out the links in the description down below which will give you guys all the little details i'm giving you everything that you need to know in this video right here uh, they also do go in, into a list of uh, known issues that are coming with Flight 3 as well. Uh, again, like these are all things that they're kind of working on right now. Same with like stuff like Windows 7, uh, some progression issues as well, uh, some seasonal issues, customization issues, uh, text chat settings issues, uh, general UI navigation. So a lot of stuff to go through. Looking through all this makes me really worry, guys, that I don't think we're going to be seeing this game coming out in 2019. I'm expecting probably like a early 2020 release which is going to be kind of really pushing it for uh playability when it comes to you know infinite coming around uh just soon after that now it's also has been extended to the 18th as well we i uh, don't believe i've seen any kind of roadmap of what kind of content's being added into this like it was with the previous extension i'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same stuff 
Uh, in matchmaking, it's all generally the same kind of content, but though in custom games, they definitely added in a few more con bunch of content as in the Forge World and all the Forge World maps have been added into the game as well currently as only for custom games and like I said on PC and uh, there is no Forge or Theater so you can't really modify anything but you can still jump in play your custom games however you want. Uh, there have been some modded lobbies I've seen going around the online that people have been able to play as well so that's also an option. Uh, they also brought in uh, Breakneck as well as the remake of Beaver Creek from the CE pack as well has been added in. And uh, tell you guys, looking at those in 1080p, 60 FPS looks pretty dang amazing. Now, like I said, I did jump in and play a few games as well of Flight 3 after this patch. And now, from my experience, after playing with the mouse and keyboard after this update, is everything fixed? Is everything feeling great and awesome? It's better. And better as in it's improved, but I wouldn't say it's perfect. Uh, now, now, this could just be an issue with me. Uh, me I'm, I'm not unfamiliar with keyboard and mouse play. Like, I play a lot of Battlefield and uh, some Call of Duty in there, mixed in there as well. I mean, even, I've even played Fortnite and stuff like that on PC. And all those games played super well on PC, and I haven't really noticed any kind of issues. Uh, though, when it comes to playing Halo Master Chief Collection it, for Halo Reach, it does seem still a bit off. I'm not quite sure exactly how to put it. Uh, but I was trying to play and I was just getting dunked on, missing shots that I usually don't miss when I'm playing on a controller. And it just gets a little frustrating. Now, again, this is only played about four or five matches. So now this could just be an issue of me just not being super familiar with how Halo plays on mouse and keyboard. Uh, though I do still feel like I'm better on controller uh, compared to the mouse and keyboard. Now this also, to me, might just be an issue of just how Halo plays. No game plays like Halo. No game puts such an emphasis on strafing or such high pinpoint accuracy of you know, body shots and headshots and things like that for your common console shooter. And so the game has been obviously designed around that with the base movement speeds, the bullet magnetism, the hit detection, and things like that have been tuned for console play and removing things like aim assist in a game where it was designed to have aim assist and so it does feel a bit off trying to hit your shots in halo reach on pc that's just me though i'm sure after just you know hours and hours and hours of uh you know getting used to the controls i probably could get up to par with controller but the thing is then why don't i just play on a controller where i'm already much better at and i don't really notice that much of an improvement when it comes to accuracy since uh Halo on console is already pretty much on par with uh, PC when it comes to accuracy. Obviously, like being able to do like quick 180s and whip around. I do have noticed that like no scoping people is a little bit easier on mouse and keyboard. Uh, but that's like really the only advantage. Um, your main thing is you want to have your consistent shots. And I feel like I'm going to have more consistent shots on controller than on mouse and keyboard. Again, that could just be me. But I feel like that might be a part of how Halo Reach plays because it was designed for console in mind. So does this patch also help alleviate my concerns when it comes to playing uh, the Twitch Rivals that's coming up on Tuesday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time? Uh, does that kind of fix a lot of issues? I probably did fix quite a bit when it comes to stability and uh, probably and be able to move in and out of menus. You know, that's probably the biggest issue. I think pretty much everyone who's going to be playing Reach on PC is going to be using a controller during Twitch Rivals anyways. And so I don't really m worry about that too much. Um, I mean, I, like I even actually the night that the patch came out, Summit 1G, one of the biggest Twitch streamers, actually was playing Halo Reach Flight 3. And he was talking about how even after this patch, the keyboard and mouse controls still don't feel that great so it's not just me i'm assuming i think it's more just the game and that could just be more just how the game is designed rather than uh the keyboard uh, mouse feeling off so my concerns about twitch rivals has been pretty much eliminated when i think when it comes to stability and everything else like that i think if you're going to be trying to use a mouse and keyboard you're going to be at a disadvantage uh, just because the aim assist on controller which is what the game is designed for like i've been iterating so much it's kind of the more optimal way to play. Um, though, playing mouse and keyboard when it comes to using your vehicles in Halo is way, way better. Oh my God, the extra mobility you get by playing with the mouse keyboard on your vehicles is a night and day difference. It makes the Wraith this like sluggish, crappy tank to just like a pinpoint accuracy death machine. 
So that's everything to know about when it comes to Flight 3 patch, and I'm you know, like it's still not the best when it comes to mouse and keyboard, but I think I might be sticking with the controller, guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys have been playing, if you had a chance to mess around with some of your settings, see, find something that might actually really work with you guys. I have been messing around with my settings a bunch, and it's just can't find the sweet spot when it comes to using the mouse on Halo Reach on PC. Uh, if you guys are new to this channel and want to stay updated with everything going on in Halo, make sure you tap that subscribe, guys. Keep you updated with everything going on with the channel and in the community. If you missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.